Hello, happy people. This is Mr. Wilcox coming to you again from a kitchen table. Um, this is our second video this week. Uh, we have divided exponents using the meaning of what it means to be an exponent, and now we're going to actually use the properties today. Um, this chapter, we're learning seven properties of exponents. We've learned three for multiplication. Today, we're going to learn two for dividing. So the first property is the quotient of powers property. I'm going to pause for a second so you can pause the video and write this down in your notebook, and then I will explain it. All right, so the quotient of powers property states that if we have two powers with the same base and we're dividing them, we're going to subtract the exponent. So if we had two powers with the same base and we multiplied, we added. Today we're dividing, so we're going to subtract. So the example here is 4 to the 7th over 4 squared. If we subtract our exponents, we get 4 to the 5th. If you put 4 to the 5th in the calculator, you get 1,024. So we're going to do a couple examples, and then we're going to go to our second property. All right, so our first example is 6 to the 11th over 6 to the 5th. If we follow our property rule, um, our base will stay 6, but our exponent uh, will take 11 and we'll subtract 5, so we'll get 6 to the 6th. And if I put 6 to the 6th in the calculator, I get the number 46,656. So that is our answer for our first example. For our second example, um, it looks like we're multiplying. And remember when we multiply two fractions, if we have something that's not a fraction, we can always put it over one. And we're gonna multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator, I'm gonna get y to the eighth. Denominator, y to the fifth times one is y to the fifth. So now it's a problem where we're dividing. So we have uh, two, expo two powers, both have the base of y and we're dividing them, so we're going to subtract our exponents. So we're going to get y to the, and 8 minus 5 is 3. So we get y cubed, and since it's a variable, we can't simplify anymore. So that is our answer. Right? All right, so just like with multiplication, we had a rule for multiplying, and then we had a rule for taking it to a power in parentheses, so we're going to have the same for division, and that's the power of a quotient property. So I'm going to pause here so you can pause the video and write it down and start whenever you're ready. So the power of a quotient property is just like our power of a power or a power of product. What it says is we take any exponent that's outside a set of parentheses and multiply it by every exponent inside. So in this case, we just have to make sure that we do it on the top of the fraction and on the bottom, so numerator and denominator. So if we look at 3 over 2 to the 7th, um, 3 to the 1st over 2 to the 1st, so uh, 1 times 7 is 7 for both of them, so we get 3 to the 7th over 2 to the 7th, so we get 2,187 over 128. So I have a couple examples of this, and then um, that'll be the lesson for today. So, I have two examples. The first one is w over z to the eighth. So remember there's a hidden first power on the w and a hidden first power on the z. So if we multiply our exponents together, one times eight is eight, so I'll get w to the eighth on top. And one times eight for the z is also eight, so I get z to the eighth. And W and Z are different bases, so we can't subtract anything. And there's no numbers to simplify, so W to the 8th over Z to the 8th is our most simple answer. All right, for number 2, we have X squared over 4Y to the 3rd. So we have a squared, and remember there's a hidden 1 on the 4, and there is a hidden 1 on the Y. So we're going to take this 3 that's outside and multiply it by every um, exponent inside. So if I do that, x squared, 2 times 3, I'm going to get x to the 6th. Um, 
So I have four to the first, and so I'm gonna take one times three, so I'm gonna get four cubed. And then I have y to the first, and so I'm gonna take my one times three again, and I get y to the third. Uh, remember, if we have any numbers as bases, like four, we have to simplify them. So x to the six is gonna stay the same in our numerator, but we have to take um, four cubed, and so four times four times four is 64, and y cubed doesn't change. So x to the 6 over 64 y cubed, none of our bases are the same, and there's no more simplifying we can do, so that is our solution. So those are the two, um, those are the two division properties. So if you're dividing two exponents with the same base, we're going to subtract the exponents, and if we have a fraction and we're taking it to a power, we're going to take that exponent outside and multiply it by every exponent inside and simplify from there. So I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all healthy. And I hope you all have a great day.